Streaming with a single monitor setup can be pretty difficult. And if you're playing a game and wanting to read chat at the same time, you can't really because you've only got one monitor unless you want to shrink down your game or have a phone or an iPad on the side. But then if that runs out of battery, you're stumped and you don't know what to do. Well, I've got the solution for you. There is a Twitch chat overlay tool which allows you to show your Twitch chat or any Twitch chat on top of whatever game you're playing. Well, let's check it out. So, looking at my desktop here, I have just opened the Twitch chat overlay tool for the first time and I'm prompted with some settings. It's, it's pretty simple, it's pretty simple to use. Uh, you can right click here to access your borders, your widgets which allow you to see uh, follow alerts and sub alerts. You can see your zoom levels, your opacity levels and get access to the general settings. Uh, also here GitHub is the latest release so if the developer makes a new version you can go here and download the new version. I will hit the settings thing here, you can also go, hit the little cog here to access the settings and it pops up our user settings. So the four categories, it's really simple, the about section is information about the program, the widgets is for you to create a widget which will pop up as well and you will be able to see your, as it says, follows, subs, viewers, etc, all of that as well. I recommend you don't need this if you've got a bot in your chat that will allow you to uh, reply to people when they follow or subscribe you'll be able to read the messages in the chat anyway, so you'll be good. The general allows you to hide the borders, confirm when you're closing the app so you don't close it by mistake. You can interact with, you can click and drag it like this, oh, not like that, like this. Uh, and show the tray icon which is down in the bottom corner of your windows as well. I recommend you keep the taskbar icon on because it's very useful if you close it you can access it again. The final tab is the chat tab, which is where you put your username in. So if I put my Twitch username in, I can enable uh, point redemptions to see when people redeem channel points rewards in my, in my chat. Uh, once you've done that, you need to get the channel ID. I'm not going to do that just now. Keep that private, I recommend that. Uh, you can choose to fade out the chat when nobody's speaking, so it'll disappear and you won't notice it much, and then when somebody talks, it'll pop back up. You can change the time in seconds to when the chat fades out. You've got filter settings, so you can see bots and uh, allowed usernames and highlight usernames. You can assign sounds, so if somebody chats it goes ding and makes a sound. And you can choose your theme as well. Uh, down here is Twitch Popout, CapChat and Custom. I would just leave this as CapChat, there's really no need. Uh, so once you've put your username in and enabled redemptions or not, you can hit save and it will automatically connect to your chat. So as you can see here, it's joined my live stream chat. So if I send a message, uh, this is a test message. There we are. Works flawlessly. To see it in game, I will, I've actually got Final Fantasy open here. So I'll load up Final Fantasy. So I'm playing, I'm running about, and I've got my chat off here at the side. I've actually just opened this just to show this off. So here we are, Final Fantasy with Twitch chat overlay. If you do only have one monitor, I highly, highly recommend that you get this little tool. It's super handy, super useful, lets you read chat, whatever. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.